kitchen finds for my kitchen. I recently moved to Nashville in January and I basically had to leave all of my stuff back home in Portland. So I'm starting over from scratch as far as decorating my Nashville apartment. As you guys can see, based on the interiors, it's a very modern, brand new apartment, but I still wanted it to have like that bohemian feel, which is my favorite style of design for like home interiors. So thrifted items have been perfect for giving it that modern bohemian feel that I'm going for. Okay, so I'm hoping that the sound quality is gonna be okay. I have the light on in our kitchen because we actually don't get that great of light in our apartment. But when you have the light on in the kitchen, it always has like this fan that's continually going. Like when you turn the switch on, the light is also like a fan or it's connected to the fan or whatever, something like that. So basically the fan is always going whenever the light's on in the kitchen. So I'm hoping that doesn't ruin the sound quality. I am just filming on my iPhone because it's a little bit easier to set up that way. So it's gonna be a little bit more of like a vlog style video. I've got my little book set up here so that my camera is at the right height. So definitely a little bit janky, but hopefully the video turns out okay. Okay, so in this corner of my kitchen, I have this letter board, which is not thrifted. Um, I've had this for a couple of years now. And then I paired it with this large thrifted basket back here. Um, it's really a big size, so it looks really good, like layered with two pieces together. I love grouping a bunch of pieces that are like a varied height and that all kind of like coordinate with each other together. So I think this looks really good. And then I also have this little set of clay pots here. Give you guys a closer look at these. So this is a Southwestern style piece, which I also really love that style and I really wanted to incorporate that into my apartment. It's a little bit harder to find those kind of pieces, but whenever I do find them, I pick them up Sorry guys, that's the Indio whining in the background. No, shh, shh. Okay, um, so what I like about this piece is that it has these painted sunflowers on it, which I feel like it gives it that bohemian feel even more. So definitely a very cool thrifted find and it was only like a few bucks at Goodwill. So that goes here. I don't really use it or anything. I mainly just use it for decor. And then next I have this little thrifted basket that I found when we first moved to Nashville. I thought it would be perfect to house a plant in, which I was right, it looks so cute. But it did take me quite some time to find a pot that would fit the basket because it's like this really weird height. Um, and even this one's not like a perfect fit, but it's close enough, right? And I feel like that looks really cute together. I love like this clay color and texture paired with the natural texture of this basket. And then I've got my green Hoya in there. Um, she was recently not doing so well, but she's looking a little bit better, thank gosh. So that is grouped in this little setting here. And then next I picked up this, um, what is this called? Like a knife stand, I guess picked it up at the thrift store. Um, that was one of my more recent trips that I found this. It was only like, so originally it was five bucks, but I was able to get it 50% off because it was a blue tag. And the day that I went to the thrift store, the blue tag was 50% off. So definitely a steal. However, somebody on my TikTok informed me that these can actually house a lot of bacteria. So um, she said to like wash it in bleach. So I just have to figure out how exactly Indio, no, I'm here. So I just have to figure out exactly how to get this wash, do like a bleach soak or something like that. Um, but it looks really good over here in my little display. So that's this corner of the kitchen and we'll move on to the next corner. Okay, so in this corner of my kitchen, I have a bunch of thrift finds. Um, I also have my little coffee maker, which is obviously not thrifted. 
over in this corner as well. And then I have a few items grouped together here. So the first item is this rotten and bamboo um, like serving tray, which I thrifted at Thrift Smart. And I realized that I probably should have gotten like a better deal on it. Although they never give me better deals there, even if I try. Um, because it has a bunch of the little pegs, like the bamboo pegs all the way around missing. But on later trips to that same thrift store, I found a bunch of these that actually were in better shape that I could have picked up. So you live and you learn, but it still looks really cute back here. You can't even really see that it's missing any of the pegs because I do have it layered behind a bunch of other pieces. So that's a good thing. Next, I have this Southwestern style pot. So it has like this bamboo handle on it, which I thought was super unique. And then I love like the Southwestern look of it. I don't use it. I just use it as like decor, but I absolutely love it. It was a really cool find. I actually thrifted this in Franklin, which is like half an hour outside of Nashville. It's like this very historic little town, but their um, Goodwills have like really cool stuff, which I was informed by my TikTok followers and they were right. I haven't been back in a while, but um, I'm hoping to do another thrift trip out there soon and see if I can find any more cool things. So the next piece I picked up is actually available in my shop. So in case you guys didn't know, I'm actually selling some of my thrift finds on my Etsy shop, which is Shop Robin Darling. And then I have like a reseller account on some other um, platforms as well, like Poshmark, Depop, and um, Facebook Marketplace. So I'll link those down below for you guys in case you guys are interested in checking out my shop. I have a bunch of different little like thrift things that I find. So this one here is very bohemian. Um, it ha gives me kind of like those 70s feels, which I love. It's perfect for housing like cream and sugar or like salt and pepper or something. So I'm not really using it because I am planning on selling it, but I do just keep it here like on display. What I usually do is um, I'll find like a bunch of things that I think other people would like and I still use them in my apartment and kind of like change them out um, whenever things sell. So I'm always continually finding new things and putting some of this up in my shop. But if it's something that I absolutely love, I'll keep it for myself. So the last item in this little corner is this little thrifted planter basket that I have my limelight in. I believe this is made out of rattan. I still get kind of confused here and there, the difference between like liquor and rattan, but um, I've seen these so often at thrift stores, but usually they actually have fake plants or like fake flowers inside of them because that's originally um, how they were sold. So it's a little bit harder to find them like this without the um, fake plants or flowers in them. I think you can just take those out, but I've never tried that. I usually just like pick them up when I see them like this, but they actually have a plastic lining inside of them. I don't think you can see it, but um, a plastic lining inside of them. So that's great for housing plants because it kind of protects this, uh, the basket from getting water damage because of the plastic lining. So whenever I find these baskets, I always pick them up. I'm obsessed with them. They're very bohemian and I love that texture that they bring home. Okay, so over in this corner, I have this golden pothos in this plant stand that I actually picked up from World Market. So this was not thrifted, although I had a gift card, so I got it for free, but I guess that doesn't really count. But I wanted to show it to you guys anyways. It has my golden pothos in it, which is getting pretty long now. Um, once it gets a little bit longer, I'm gonna make some cuttings out of it so that I can plant more golden pothos. So that's in this corner, and I feel like it looks really good in this corner because it kind of like fills it out. Golden pothos grows super quickly, so um, 
Eventually it'll be like even bigger and it just fills that corner really nicely. And then over in this corner, I basically have this thrifted basket. <laughs> Thank God it didn't hurt my little snake plant. Okay, so this thrifted basket here, which I thought would be perfect for housing fruits and vegetables, looks super good over here. I think this is one of the finds that I found at a Goodwill in Franklin. So I have that over here. And then I have um, this marble and wood cutting board back here, which I don't use just because I want to keep it in like a good shape and I like it for like decor instead. And then I have my snake plant, which is housed in this pot that I thrifted. I hate, 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 hate this. I feel like thrift stores always do this where they put like this, like a sticker tag in like exactly the wrong place. They always put it like on the body instead of putting it like on the bottom, like, hello, come on, just put it on the bottom, right? because these are like impossible to get off. Super tricky, so wish they wouldn't do that. But anyway, I picked up this pot and then like a matching one to go with it for I think two bucks with the two of them together. And then I picked up this little basket, which was only a dollar. Originally, I wasn't like sure what, it, what it's used for. I still don't really know what exactly it's used for, but um, I thought that it would be perfect to put plants in and I was right because that looks so cute. I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't be able to find um, a pot that would fit it, but this actually does fit perfectly and it just dresses it up and makes my snake plant look super cute. Okay, so those are all of my thrifted finds for decor in my kitchen. I'm gonna end this video with giving you guys a quick kitchen tour. So here is an overall look at our kitchen. It's the biggest kitchen that I've ever had in a rental before. So I absolutely love it and I'm definitely taking advantage of it over here. I have um, three stools from Target that fit the island perfectly. I have my laptop and chargers here because this is actually where I do most of my work is at the island because I don't have a desk. There's not really like room in our apartment for a desk. So this is my little workstation. And then over here we have the main wall which has the oven and the microwave. Got the sink on the island. Fridge over here, tons of cabinets so much cabinet space I don't even think I could ever fill all of it um, but we also have like a pantry here that I wanted to show you guys which is super nice I have these little like liners to not ruin the cabinets and then I actually use a lot of the cabinet space for storing um, little pieces that are for sale in my thrift shop and then I also have like a bunch of different like storage boxes in these cabinets down below. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's a very modern kitchen, but my thrifted pieces definitely give it like that modern bohemian feel that I was going for. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoy my little kitchen tour and my thrifted kitchen finds. Don't forget to check out my shops in case you guys wanna check out any of the thrifted pieces that I find. I know that a lot of people on my um, TikTok videos I do a lot of thrifted content on my TikTok, but a lot of the people on my TikTok have been saying that they don't have good thrift stores where they live and that their thrift stores would like never have like that many cute things in them. So it's kind of perfect that I am reselling a lot of thrifted things that I find because for those of you who don't have any good thrift stores or maybe like don't have the time to like make it out to thrift stores, you can find some really cute pieces in my shop. And just so you guys know, the prices that I list are just like my preferred price for how much I'm gonna sell them for, but I am open to best offers. So if you guys ever see a piece that you think is just like a little bit too expensive, just let me know and we can work something out. Be sure to check out my TikTok for more thrifted content as well. If you guys are into that, I do a lot of um, thrift hauls and uh, like thrift with me videos on there. 
check that out as well. My tech talk is at the Urban Darling. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.